Hello, I'm Dr. Demerchin. I am making this video to go over the instructions and how to use your dental sleep appliance from Somnament. As we open the case, there are pink instructions from Somnamed. Read everything. It goes over cleaning, warning, warranty. And then uh, inside the ba bag, there are three cleaning tablets. I recommend using these about once a week to clean your appliance. They are like denture retainer cleaners. When you run out, you can either order more from online or from Somnamed or go to CVS Rite Aid and buy some denture retainer cleaners. As we open up the box, I am also including an AM aligner, a morning repositioner, which I will demonstrate and go over with you in a little bit. As we take the box out, we're taking out the blue box and we're gonna go over the mouthpiece here. As we open the box, this is the lid for it. And these are the adjusting components. In here are your impressions. On the front side of the big box are the models from those impressions plus the bite registration that we use. So between this and that, that is what Somnamed used to fabricate your mouthpiece. As you open everything up, you're gonna take out your dental sleep appliance. I'm gonna put it in the container right now. And underneath the container, it's a twist lock. When you twist it, this other con container opens. And in here is a little brush and your adjusting tool, which I will go over with you in just a moment. For the first few days, when you start putting in your mouthpiece, I want you to wear your mouthpiece an hour or two to get used to having something in your mouth, then transition to wearing the mouthpiece 30 minutes to an hour before going to bed and try to sleep through the night with it. After one week of putting it in 30 minutes to an hour and going to sleep with it, then you just pop it in and go to sleep. So the way you're gonna put them in, I'm gonna go to my model here, is your sleep appliance has two components, an upper component and a lower component. When putting in the mouthpiece, we always wanna start with the upper one. Put in the front teeth first. You, because our teeth are angled forward, we wanna line up the front teeth, the two front teeth, push in the front first, and then with your thumbs, you're gonna be pushing the back in. And then, the, then you're gonna to go to the lower part. You're gonna line up the front teeth, push the front in first, and then with your index, once you line this up, you're gonna come in here, push back, push back, and then bite into it to make sure everything comes together. When you're gonna take out the mouthpiece, you're gonna do the reverse. I want you to start on the back teeth at the molars with your thumbs and to slowly wiggle it up, therefore removing it, and then taking your index fingers, going back to the molars and slowly pulling it down to angle it forward to take it out. After one week of wearing the mouthpiece, there are two adjusting components. The upper one is an orthodontic expander where you turn a screw type component to move the jaw forward. The lower is a changing of these triangular wings. I'm mainly going to show you the bottom one because it's much easier. As we come over here to the tool, you're going to take this key out. This little thin part is for the upper, the lower uh, perpendicular part is for the lower. As we look at the metal here, there is an L carved into it for left side and in the plastic right here it says L0. We move to the right side, there is an R carved into it for right side, R0. Now as we back up to this other container, those were zeros. There are three sets of wings extra left and right one, left and right two, L and R three. So every time you move up one number, the jaw moves forward one millimeter. 
I have already set your appliance at a comfortable position that I want to start your job. And what you're going to do every one week is move the jaw forward based on two symptoms, snoring and waking up rested. So my goal for you is two millimeters typically, but if you move one millimeter forward and you go, I feel fantastic, that's where you stay. If you go to two and you say, you know what, I'm still snoring and waking up tired, then you can go to setting three. And the way we're gonna do that is you're gonna take this blue key and lay it flat on the teeth here. When you turn this little metal in, there's a little hole in the triangle that it'll fit into. Sometimes it's really hard where you need to take both thumbs and press into it until that metal comes all the way through. Once it's in, when you stand up the swing, uh, when you stand up the key, it's going to put pressure like a crowbar pulling that wing up. And then you're just going to pull it out. Then you take one number higher and snap it in. Right now, I'm just going to put in the size zero back in. You have to find the slot. It's to the back and to the inside. It's a perfect fit. So if you're off a little bit, it's not going to go in. It has to directly line up. And then I would recommend pinching, snapping it in place. So, and when you put them in, you always want to have the writing on the outside and the flat end to the back. Okay. And the flat end to the inside. So the two pieces fit together perfectly. Once you do that, you start wearing the mouthpiece. Again, you make the adjustments once a week until you're waking up rested and feeling good. I'm gonna put this back. What the mouthpiece is doing, our bite is typically, our upper teeth are covering the lower teeth. What the mouthpiece is doing is opening the bite a little bit and bringing the jaw forward to bring the base of the tongue forward to open up the airway. Sleeping on your side is better. Sometimes when laying on your back, no matter what we do as you go through your sleep cycles, the body relaxes and the tongue can fall back and start blocking the airway. In the mornings, when you wake up, I am including this AM aligner and what you're going to do for the time being is you're going to take it out. There are written instructions here like this. When you open it, the very first page is English and it will explain how to fabricate the AM aligner. Basically what you're going to do is take some hot water, some boiling water like I have here in this hot pot and you're going to drop this little beige piece in here for about a minute until it just becomes soft. You can use a fork or tweezers uh, to hold it in the water. Uh, once it becomes soft, you're going to take it out. You're going to place it over your upper teeth. This is mine that I just fabricated to show you what it's going to look like. As I place it up over the front teeth, you want to relax and bite down on your back teeth. So I don't want you to bite like this. I want you to relax and just bite on your back teeth where your teeth come together normal. Practice biting a few times before you make this. Squeeze on your back teeth, feel all your molars hitting. When, when you do that, you're gonna put the AM aligner in the hot water, it's gonna become soft. You're gonna put it over your teeth and leave some around the outside and we're gonna make it like uh, a cowboy hat. We're gonna push the sides up and bring the front down. So when you place it, this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna lay it flat, bite down. You're gonna press up with your thumbs to form the sides and pull down on your index to form the, to form the little cowboy hat part. This, you will see in the indentations and this is gonna be the bite positioner to keep your bite where it is because these mouthpieces are made to bring the jaw forward. As we bring the jaw forward, it can stretch the tissues and ligaments back here and gradually over months and years, your jaw can relax and your bite may shift. We're not making dental changes, but we may end up having orthopedic changes. So I want you to use the AM aligner every day when you take out your sleep apnea mouthpiece. 
you're gonna wait 20 to 30 minutes, let your jaw kind of relax and go back on its own. After it's relaxed, you're gonna pop that guy in and typically what I tell everybody is, build this into your daily routine. If you get up, you brush your teeth, you're gonna have coffee, do whatever you need to do. When you're gonna jump into the shower, put in the AM aligner for those five minutes and it'll remind your jaw to go back to normal. Then you take it out and you can go on with your day. Other than that, there are two bite exercises that I give patients that I want them to do on a daily basis to keep the bite where it is. The first one, you put the tip of your tongue to the roof of the mouth, pull it back to the back of the throat, bite on your molar. So it's gonna look something like this. Tongue up, back, squeeze on the molar. So what you're gonna do is if your chin is forward, when you put your tongue back, it pulls the chin back. Bite onto the molars. The second one is, is called the chin rest. And basically what we do there is just like pushing on your chin, pushing the jaw joint back. You can use your palm this way, this way, whatever you do. I'm just going to use my fingertips right now to demonstrate. So if my jaw is forward, I want to push my chin back. Bite on the molars and squeeze, resetting the joint back into place and making sure that the back teeth are touching. I would like you to do that every couple of hours to make sure your bite sits into place. Typical, I want to build it into your routine again. So typically what I tell patients is every time you sit in a car in the morning, lunchtime, evening, whenever it is, I want you to bite on your molars and squeeze for 10 to 20 seconds doing the bite exercises that I just gave you. Furthermore, there are instructions that we're going to be sending you and it goes over how to wear the instructions, what I explained, what to do, which is what I explained, some common side effects. There may be some drooling, some aching of the jaw and teeth because you're wearing something new. It's like an orthodontic retainer, basically. Read everything. It even goes over dry mouth. As I flip through this, there are further instructions on how to care for the mouthpiece. You want to clean the mouthpiece, brush it and clean it with detergent type soap like palm olive. Uh, and then otherwise, when you're storing it, you can store it dry in here. And I would recommend keeping your AM aligner in the container as well. If you have problems breathing through your nose, you can use nasal strip or go online and there are some nasal dilators that you can use to keep the sinuses open so we can keep the airway open in the back of the throat. And then we're giving you instructions on the AM aligner, which is what I went over with you, plus the bite exercises, which I just went over with you again. When you put, when you put things together, this will close and fit under the container here. It will twist lock. And then this lid will close. Don't forget your wings because you're gonna be changing the wings once a week until you get to a comfortable position. If you need to advance your jaw more than the three millimeters that is set on the wings, uh, there are instructions how to do the upper expander. Uh, there are instructions from Somnomid on YouTube and or you can call me and uh, we will go over those instructions if you need to advance any further. Typically, about two millimeters is where I want you to advance and stop there. I hope this video helps, and then I look forward to seeing you back at the sleep center if you need any further assistance. Thank you.